of August in 2022. I ask now the prime creator, source of all light and being, to bless this person sitting here in front, that only the truth comes forth to the best and highest good for everyone involved and to the best of my capacities. All right, now, um, you did pretty good in the classes, right? You, it was fairly easy for you. You could follow easy and you got things done, right? It was really good. Okay, good. Um, really, really good. I have added on certain little videos here, there, and so on. So if you want to check and flip through the different modules to see whether there's anything new. For example, yesterday I had a, a lady, she said, uh, I want to do the funnel meditation. Can you quickly do that? You know, how to open the funnel? I have a hard time with this or that. So I it did two little video clips, one on how to do that. And then also uh, samples on how a funnel could look like to get the information and such thing. So you have the whole module link so any kind of updates or anything you can look, you can look at the recordings from group five now or from previous recordings because every group is a little bit different. Okay. Just as an aside note. So what is of your interest today? So I, I do have some questions. First, I have to thank you. You know, all of this started because of you. And, and I just cannot believe how Everything that I was taught is just all basically garbage. It's all gar I, I And I just can't believe it has taken me so long to just all of a sudden it's like, oh my God. And when I ask a question, it leads to another question and another question. And it just does. I can sit here for hours, Claudia. I mean, hours just thinking, just thinking about like all, all of these different things. So in doing that, and I and I I wrote down some questions, and I'm sure if I'm all over the place, I'm sorry. That is, that is absolutely fine. It doesn't bother me. You know, I thrive on questions. So um, I sometimes go off topic. You know, when a question is, and then it leads to another thing, and that's totally fine. And I uh, just trust that what needs to be uh, said will be said. So okay. sure, your first question. Okay, so the first thing that came to mind is why don't certain souls cross over? Why don't they get to like where they're supposed to be? Uh, certain souls, look, um, think about the elevator effect that we are here, but we are also up there. So yeah. ultimately, they are already crossed over. But let's say the question would be how get a ghost created? A ghost will be created, for example, by some of their energy bodies being staying here for a particular reason. Let's say a drinker's body is craving the drink, even though the physical form is gone, the emotional component of the need to drink might not be gone. And then lives on in the form of attachment on another drinker, but also this consciousness of the drinker can for a certain amount of time live on. Or a the soul, yeah, part of the soul is always up there. Right. So ultimately, I do not perceive that anybody can get really, truly, truly, truly forever and ever and ever be lost. I haven't met anybody except one soul. When I talked to the person, he committed suicide, was belief structured into, you know, people are condemned then. And, you know, and so he believed this condemnation that he was condemned and therefore was in a dark hole. And while I was talking to him, explaining to his, you know, leftover loved ones here on earth, uh, what was happening, he listens and while I was talking, ultimately also addressing to him, it lightened around him. And I said, well, the only thing what he needs is to really be open to be lifted up in that moment and, and, and a being or an angel and so on, a helper, one of his guardians would catch him by the hand and I'm still getting chills talking about it. And that happened. I mean, there, I could see it was my third eye. Her hand was going down and he was grabbing hold of it and everything went light. And I said, wow, you know, I'm witnessing this and this and this. And so they were very relieved because they could feel him too lingering in the house. 
yeah, in a sense. So sometimes so it, it's ignorance, sometimes it's um, not wanting to go to the other side out of fear, like atheists. Sometimes I see that they refuse to go on higher because, and then they create themselves this. Yeah, I give another example. I studied there in Paderborn in Germany and uh, my boyfriend at the time and I were both very psychic. So we both saw things, both. And all of a sudden we were seeing this guy coming into our home unannounced. Before At that time I didn't have security layers or anything, right? And um, said, finally, somebody who can see me. Everybody went nuts. Nobody can see me and hear me. Only you guys. What's up with the world? Blah, blah, blah. So we knew that he was a ghost. Then we asked him, well, where do you live? You know, you show you up unannounced. Where do you live? Oh, I live this in the street. So it was two doors down. I mean, it was not far. And when we went there, we realized that the guy had died, didn't believe anything. And he was complaining to us that now other people live with him in his house and how dare they are only moving in and then and then. And because he was so resistant to move on, we really had to get the light portal up and really shove him through with the help. And he was so condensed in his anger and frustration that he could even throw pillows at us. And that's where we had enough and said, you got to go. And that's where we really with conjoined power shoved him into the light. Um, so, you know, people who don't believe anything, people who believe that they are um, um, through greed or through, this is my world, this is my house, this is my possession, this is all I have. And they're hanging on to it with all the might they can and ignoring the call to go to the light. But sooner or later, part of them takes over. And so sometimes we have a conglomerate of souls who, who are so leftover layers who form with a leftover fragment of consciousness, something else. And that can be very evil because that stuff, that thing, that elemental, that greed elemental or lust elemental or anger elemental or whatever, you know, it, it so yeah. looks its own component, creates a kind of a consciousness was very limited and then acts out. Yeah, I think to me, that's a little bit what the poltergeist stuff is. Okay. This consciousness acts out, but it's not a soul really. It's a left over dynamic. That brings me to this thing about gods, you know? So like the Greek gods, the Celtic gods and all that, to me, it's kind of like a field of consciousness. So as a field of consciousness of light or protection or growth or abundance or that exists, you know, with certain dynamics and personas, like mm -hmm. in the Greek mythology or, or Celtic mythology, so are also on the lower frequency level, these kind of fields with anger, lust, frustration, and they can then create a consciousness or be sponsored, let's say, by a demonic entity who uses these kind of fields like little helpers. Yeah, bother this, do this, annoy that, so that I can feed. So is that why we're we're supposed to let everything go? Yes. Forgiveness and love yes. and yes. light and and ego and all yes. of that. So that yes, way because it us when up. you see it um in one of my uh, letting go CDs, I used the thing about a a balloon and sandbags. <laughs> Yeah, the soul right now is full of sandbags, artificial DNA we signed up for. We signed up for, um, you know, connections with our parents just to be here, yeah, to support their energy belief structures for seven generations. But once we are over the family karma or the entrancy karma, then we are free to really be who we are supposed to be, not before, before we are supporting the construct. Right. in the matrix 
And then after that, we are letting go. We're starting to come into our own. Now, when we are crossing back over, the last pocket doesn't, you know, have any, the last skirt doesn't have any pockets. So we have to let go of our wells. And normally, magnetically, you are drawn to love. You're drawn to like, like most to the flame. So most people do not have any problem in just giving themselves over to light. Even people who are getting out of body bliss, out of body experience through operations, you know, they always talk about the near death experience going towards the light and so on. That's natural. And in that process, um, it, when you're looking at the light and it ultimately it starts here, you know, and you're seeing then you're seeing down your tunnel of soul, you're seeing down to your higher self. And that's where they're waiting, like family members and so on. And mostly somebody comes really close down and helps you peel yourself out. So I almost want to say the statement that nobody really dies alone, even though we might be alone here in bed and nobody's there, but nobody really dies alone. Somebody's always helping you out of your body, whether it's an angel or a close to a loved one. Or according to your belief structure, might be Jesus. If you insist Jesus, you might encounter Jesus, or you might encounter da 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 da, whatever your belief structure is. Right. But then also, you have to let go. Um, there was a bishop who channeled down to a person in his congregation a book. And Bishop Martin, it's unfortunately not translated into English. Otherwise, I would have made it a must read for the class. Because when he crossed over and he could hear the prayers and what all the uh, all the monks and all the others had to be done for him, you know, in Catholic Church to pray so that he could move forward. First of all, he was so full of ego that he thought, well, why didn't Jesus pick me up? Where is Jesus? And he waited and he got annoyed about not being picked up everything was dark there was nothing there because he didn't follow his soul path he just followed his ego so mm -hmm. he's stuck in the lower astral level where it is dark remember when we were talking about the exercise about light dark dark light seeing yes. your shape shift and all that that's where he got stuck and then he had to go through this cleansing process Let's say the first thing he saw was actually a Protestant church instead of a Catholic church because he believed only the Catholics can go through to heaven. Yeah. And so now he was a Protestant church. So he had to learn tolerance. Then he had to saw dark fish in a murky pond that was a symbol of his emotional system. So he had to clear the waters. Then he had to do this, then da 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 da, until he finally got grace with the presence of Jesus who then told him a thing or two and then who also said, you're allowed to dictate this so that the world might know. And um, I'm still getting chills. That's amazing. That. Yes. Oh my gosh, and, that is amazing. Um, Bishop Martin, I have to look, maybe meanwhile it is translated. Of course, it would make a very controversial book. So I don't think uh, it is, but uh, that was amazing. That was an amazing book. Wow. So he still had lessons to learn, even when he passed over. Yes. Sometimes for that reason, let's say I had a client, she gets severely raped by her own father. Of course, when he died, she was relieved, but then he had to come to make amends. She didn't want to have anything to do with him because she was not ready to forgive, which the forgiveness is like a sandbag of our balloon. When you can forgive, you will be lighter. It's not, you don't do it for somebody else. You do, do it for yourself. yourself. Yes. But that understanding needs to grow in a person. So th then her father came and he didn't want to have anything to do with it. And she could feel the presence, you know, and to her, it was all essence of evil. Understandable. However, this soul had to make up for bad dues. I have it in many sessions that souls come from the family lineage to say, I brought, let's say, rape into the family dynamics. I have to make amends and have to help my ancestors who were also abused. So, and then the soul learns while they are making up and balancing out. So that is very common. What? And what was his name again, Dr. Martin? Um, the, the book, Bishop Martin. Bishop Martin. Martin. I, I don't know. I have to see maybe 
I find it in German first to see which author it was because I don't have I have moved so much. I don't have so many German books. I left them all over there with my girlfriend, um, who's also deceased now. But I will I will check it. I will I will definitely check it and, okay. and maybe post it then in the fast track group if I find it. That's amazing. There's just thinking that he should have automatically just been in the presence of God, you know, just took it all for granted, you know, and didn't even realize, you know, that he was intolerant and all of that kind of stuff. That is fascinating. So, so it's safe to say that there is no hell. Well, uh, we create, we are living in a hell. We are creating a hell. We okay. signed up for polarity. We signed up for hell and damnation. I mean, there are demons, but there, how my guiding ones ascribed it to me. I mean, my husband is very religious. So we had just yesterday, a lot of discussions about that, about a statement I made. And um, I can say this. One of the things I noticed also was my own grandmother. When the soul leaves the body and the, the, the persona is fearful, the soul vibration gets higher and higher and higher like sunbeams. So it has a sense of burning. And when you ask nurses, they are having this sense of um, that the, the patient's temperature gets higher. And when the patient's temperature gets higher, that means they're transitioning out of the body. And this is now, right with death? My grandmother screamed that she was in hell, the most religious woman I've ever met, screamed that she was in hell when she was burning up. And then all of a sudden peace came about her and the process was over. Yeah. So, and, uh, but she believed herself in hell for whatever subconscious structures because they had to flee the war and, you know, she had to do things she normally wouldn't have done to survive right. for her kids. But that I think plays a role in your construct of thought processing. Yeah, so she had to break through that barrier. Now, uh, I haven't, I have looked for it, but I haven't seen any hell. But I know that in our creations, we create ourselves hell. When I remember that Christians were prosecuted in the arena and ripped to pieces by lions, and I was there to witness because they were my followers in another lifetime, that was for me a living hell, which still bleeded, bled into this life. That's why I didn't want to be famous. Yeah, that, so hell with the devil, I mean, there is a devil. There is a counteract to light. That's what we need in polarity. But I was taught that, you know, remember the tree of life thing? There is the lower yes. level and then the above part and then the below part. Yes. That the devil and all its minions and demons are all part of the below part of duality. They have no access, like it says in the Bible, through the kingdom of heaven. But also in another book in Germany, um, I think even it might have been a chapter in the Bishop Martin's book, um, the bishop asked then the presence of God all these questions like, you know, what about a hell? Da, 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 and, uh, and so he was given the power over the devil for a certain amount of time and made the devil scream and squirt and do and do. And um, then he had to come to the sensation that the devil was only doing his job description of delivering a polarity so that polarity could be experienced. Okay. And it came through their understanding like, no, it doesn't cause me pleasure to give the dark side, you know, distress. So in other words, we have extreme saints and we have extreme villains. That's the extremes of polarity. Yeah? We have, but there is one rule 
And that's what people do not understand who are not believing in past lives or parallel lives, as we know. The rule that if you want to be a famous doctor and you need a lot of patients, you will be several times a patient. If you want to be a rich guy with a lot of servants, you have to be several times a servant. Now, when you're the servant, you're asking, why, God, why did you let me do this? Or sometimes we ask in our life, what in the world was I thinking to sign up for this crap if I am signing up? what because there's destiny and there's free will and sometimes when we want this we have to experience the other same side of the medallion to counterbalance that our account stays you know as if our account is not in zero we cannot ascend to the highest high it has to be uh, it's like if a forest you know grows and grows and grows but only if the forest is done with all the trees does the forest disappear into oneness again or if our lives are all balanced there needs to be at least three to four lives who are totally conscious aware like spiritually aware who then could pull up all the others remember we are living in a multiverse so uplifting the experiences to a more uniform understanding and uh, then it's like the soul's experience of cycling dies and merges completely forever and ever, no more incarnations into the oneness. Now, there are souls- Oh, really? So there's, it's so, so your so soul gets soul to a point? The soul has a cycle, like a tree has a life cycle. The soul has a life cycle. Okay. Even if the soul splits up in myriads of lifetimes, even the soul has a cycle let's say if you have experienced everything rich poor male female this that extraterrestrial this higher dimension that blah 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 whatever you can come up with what you ever as a soul wanted to explore when you have done all that you just have the urge to go back to oneness you don't want to do anything polarity anymore you don't want to anything on higher even on the first dimension polarity you don't want to None of it. You want only home, 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 home. Nothing more. Home. And when that happens, there comes a guide, like a perfect living master, like Jesus, or there are others. Some call them gurus in India. But there comes somebody and says, I take you by the hand and guide you all the way home that you can absorb all your fragments and you're coming high but no more sidestepping into any kind of interest of reality in any kind of dimension you are just focusing on the highest high and that's when all the i asked them my guys but what about the me thing will i still remember that i am so and it will they said to me it's like you are the drop in the ocean but you also feel the ocean you are the ocean. You are the drop, but you mm -hmm. are also the ocean. So you become that expanded consciousness awareness. Into the absolute. Into, yes, into the absolute. Mm -hmm. Into the absolute. Wow. Okay. So how do you know, like, like you remember, you know, I remember you had once said that you remember actually um, um, being born, mm -hmm. being yes. born, you know, that yes. in the birth canal. Yes. Like, how, how do you get there? How do I get there that I can remember my past lifetimes or or that I can I can remember my purpose? That's that's kind of where I'm stuck right now. Like, what is my purpose? Why am I here? And, and I think about my life. And I think about, well, okay, maybe I am supposed to be alone to prepare for my next adventure, or maybe I'm doing this because I've had a pretty good life. Mm -hmm. You know, things always worked out for me. I have absolutely no complaints and I've learned a lot and I'm still learning a lot. So how do I get to, how do I get to, to that point? Okay. Like, I'm so curious. And, and then you also say, well, you know, I, I could be living, you know, three lifetimes at the same time. And, and would that be on different planes? Yes. 
Oh, see, so so how do I how do I find these answers? Okay, first of all, um, thank you for reminding me. I will do and create the purpose meditation. Yeah, and uh, I learned that we did a purpose meditation. I actually did a little bit of that in one module. I don't remember which module. I think it was one of the later ones, um, and it brings us to the time and space. I think I did it one also in fast track, but I can do another one where we're going to the point in time and space where we made the decision to actually come here. Okay. And uh, it's a similar technique where you can check into past lives. Ultimately, you go in and up as high as you can. And in the past life, then you go down a golden strand of soul and click into a life. But in regard of the purpose, then you go up and right and left or whatever in the dynamics of dimension where you made the decision. In my particular purpose, I was in this in-between state in this, it almost looked to me like a white light cafeteria. Cafeteria is the only human word which I can come up for, where you leisurely hang out as so. And in my case, I saw the earth um and they asked me or they said okay we agreed that you have this and this and this experience and you are coming with this and this purpose so how do you want to fulfill this do you want to be male or female so i chose female do you want to be born here or there i chose country germany and skin tone lighter and you know, all these you know the, the the looks to be and then challengers you know the challenges to grow to expand or in my fact to have um understanding of the human condition um in a lot of ways so per people volunteered for these challenges and normally when you dive down when you go through the lower astral level you forget who you are you put your blinkers on and you're diving down that's part that we do not get sidetracked with all the information of ones uh -huh. who once were that we can focus at the task at hand. Like how can you focus if you have a radio blurring and a TV blurring and somebody standing next to you talking into your ear and then somebody is behind you and, and you're supposed to focus on a task and do it good. Too okay. many distractions. That's why we put blinkers on. So we're not supposed to remember. We're when, supposed to, we're supposed to, we we know when the task comes up for the lesson to be learned to move on to the next thing right and in my particular case i was allowed to remember because it was necessary to be able to explain today the one or the other and to put it in humanoid wordings yeah i'm not complaining uh, i'm not saying that i would be any guru or any kind of this or any kind of that i just came here with a task to make people's life better and to explain certain things like when people are advanced and have thinking questions how can this be how does this work out how fits that in and yes you cannot grasp with your mind with your ling limited thinking in a three-dimensional low energy setting their secrets of the universe and all existence and source yeah our mind is not capable so i set myself the task to explain what could be and i had to remember so when you when you are incarnated here you're dimming down that's a natural process okay now only these perfect living masters they do not dim down they have full-blown awareness of everything, of everything, of everything. But their purpose, again, is to bring the souls down, and that's what they're focusing on. They are not focusing on making other people's lives better. Yeah, They don't waste their energy on that. Their purpose is to, let's go up. So um, I came with a three message, three things. That's why I did healing first, and then I did counseling and consulting, and now I'm uh, in this third phase of explaining how spirit works. And for that, I asked sometimes my guides in this, 
elevator symbol and the pyramid symbol and the tree of life symbol came from them as an explanation how I could relate this to uh, a co-fellow Schumann in an understandable way to make them sink slowly and steadily. You know, not everybody's born in, as a multidimensional thinker. Yeah? We are happy when we get our life in water from death to, from birth to death, right? I mean, right, right. There's enough challenges, but for the ones like you who are advanced in its thinking now and questioning and thinking outside the given box of 3D into the fourth dimensional realities, what else is out there too, and so on and so forth, um, it goes a little bit different. And then, of course, there are people who are like uh, Eckhart Tolle, who are talking about being in the moment. The moment is the only thing. Yes, it is ultimately there because when you're in that moment, totally relaxed, you're always connected to your highest high in a way. So then you are the most receptive to getting the information you need. You know, then you're funnel or your channel is fully open to receive the information you need to perform your best. Ultimately, like Dr. Joe Dispenza would say, you're swimming in time and space of awareness. And also you're picking everything up from there, from from the oneness. And that's why he does his um, projective meditation where you envision yourself to be in time and space, you know, in space. So being in a space of ultimate wisdom, being in a space of uh, oneness, being in a space. So meditation, one way or another, gets you to a higher order of awareness. But one can do directive purpose meditation to go there in time and space too, with a directive, I want to go there. Ultimately, what you do is you're envisioning building up your golden light strand as high as you can imagine. And then you go a little bit further and say, I want to go there to the moment in time and space where I made a decision with the purpose for this life. And just follow the golden strand in your mind, wherever it leads you, it will lead you somewhere. And then all of a sudden you're there. And then just open mm -hmm. up to see or perceive or feel. And you will get a download. But as our human brain capacitor, the brain is not necessarily as wide or big to digest all the information that might come in spurts. Okay. So what would be the difference then of dreaming or pro and projecting? Or are they the same? Um, I wouldn't say they are not necessarily the same, depending on what you mean with projecting. I presume right now that you mean with projecting, um, let's say. Stay tuned for more questions.